I wanted to create a website that I would have loved when I was in my early 20s. Um, I was really interested in experimental theater and in art and what makes artists work and, and studying the works of the great artists, whether it's painters or poets or writers or filmmakers or yeah. musicians. Uh, I loved philosophy. I was going to be a philosophy major in college. But you know, I went to college and took, started taking philosophy classes and they were so boring and dry. I was like, this, is, this has no correlation to real life. Although the Republic, I mean, you can't... You can't argue with the re Republic. No. Great stuff. But, you know, even the, there's plenty of philosophy teachers that make the Republic seem really boring and dry and, and, and uninteresting. So a lot of people who are watching this show, you know, they're, they have startups, they're entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. they're other business peeps trying to put the puzzle together. What advice would you give them? Like, how did you define success? Like, you know, were you willing to quit, you know, if it, if it just fell flat? Or were you just, did you just want to put it out there for the long haul? Mm -hmm. Like, talk to us about that and maybe how your mind changed about even like the model. I think that, you know, I've met a lot of designers and web startup people, and I was just at South by Southwest Interactive and talking to a lot of people, and there's pretty much one thing that's on everyone's mind. They want to make money. They want to monetize. They want to cash in. They want to be the next Twitter. They want to figure out the next cool a interactive app that they can get, you know, 100 million subscribers and, and take off. And that's fine, you know what I mean? But everyone is out there trying to do that. And I would say that, you know, um, the old uh, Joseph Campbell quote of, you know, when he was a college mythology teacher and he did a, a series of books and of, uh, for people who don't know it, a, a great uh, series of interviews with Bill Moyers. And he would always say to the college students that would come to him and they would say, what should I do with my life? And he would say, follow your bliss. And that is, you know, it's kind of become a little bit of a cliche, but I would say that on the web, it's still possible to follow your bliss. Like, what, it, what is it that you wanna see? What do you wanna most have happen? I mean, when you read about how these things were started, it really kind of, how the great things that happen on the web started, they really came out of that. They didn't come out of a, a focus group of like, here's how we're gonna make money. They just came out of like, I wanna view this kind of content and there's no place for me to post videos of my kid and dogs fetching sticks, so I'm gonna create YouTube. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, I wanna be able to share and interact over, over videos. I wanna share my videos and broadcast myself. And that's how, that's how it, it came to be. So I think you, can, you need to go a little bit deeper than like, how can we make money? Because there are right now literally 68,000 really brilliant people out there going, how can we make money off of the internet? Yeah. And um, if you can follow your passion on the internet and fill a need, you'll eventually make money and, uh, and you'll be successful. And, but more importantly, you'll be fulfilled.